morning. Hi, I'm Jim J, and uh, I'm I'm a local Aflac agent. That means I live here in town. And uh, just a little bit about myself. I was uh, in the Air Force. I was on active duty, and then I was in the reserves, and I served a total of 26 years. I got to go to these fun places, you know, uh, like. Desert Storm, Desert Shield, you know, people shoot at you and stuff there. And, and I flew uh, I flew AC-130 gunships, and then later I flew MC-130s in the reserves. And of course, since I was in the reserves, our unit got activated after 9-11, so I got to go to Afghanistan, and Uzbekistan, and Pakistan, and some other stands, you know, so, so um, anyway, so I've, I've had a lot of uh, flying experience and stuff, and then I was a contractor for a couple defense contractors and uh, and so then after a while I was like you know I need to do something different and I, I wanted to do something where I had a little bit more control but I while I was still in the in the reserves I owned a business and it was a, a retail place and so you know having been in retail those that have been in retail know that retail is like a lot you know you're there all, almost every day of the week doing that kind of stuff depending on what you're doing so I, I was looking around and I said, well, you know, what's a, a good thing to do? And, and I talked to some friends of mine and I just kind of landed on insurance. And then I was like, well, what is, what kind of insurance? Because, you know, if, if you think about it, everyone in here is in the insurance business. You know, you have people that have mortgages or they have a house that they want to sell. I mean, how are they going to sell it? Well, they have to get a realtor because that's the best way to do it, you know. And if you're locked out of your car because your keys don't work and Roger's kind of helping you there and uh, and so you know people have car insurance and they have uh, some have medical insurance I talk to a lot of people that are just risking not having it just there's like rolling the dice and and so I was like well geez you know where can I where can I go where can I help people and so uh, I said well I, I looked at a couple different companies and I landed on Aflac and so uh, the company is a very highly reputable company. They've been in business for over 60 years. Uh, they first started out with a cancer policy. And a lot of times people just don't always think of these things, but you know, they think about major medical, but you know, sometimes if you don't even have that, a lot of times people don't even realize how much their out-of-pocket costs are. You know, employers, in order to offer insurance, they've increased those deductibles to make it cheaper. Because you know, if you had a $500 deductible on your medical plan, it would probably be like two thousand dollars a month you know I mean it's bad enough now that where we're at that it's costing so much money so so you know uh, I brought up one of our the website aflac.com uh, it has a lot of great information on here it says the accident how could an accident impact your lifestyle has everyone seen that commercial where the guy was skiing this says, oh it looks like you're moving into your mom's basement <laughs> you know, his legs bent back this other way and stuff you know this is uh, the average cost of a broken leg is about 70 $7,300, you know, and it says 62% of young adults have less than $1,000. On the tables, I, I provide this executive summary. There's lots of great little info in here. In fact, if you open the first cover of the page, it says, for companies of all sizes, the message is clear. To hire and retain top employees, they must get smarter about their benefits plans. And so that's basically what I do. So I talk to the companies about their benefit plans. Sorry, screen. And, um, and how they can leverage that. Because a lot of the stuff that Aflac offers is all employee paid. So how much does it cost the employer? Nothing. It costs the employer nothing. Some employers do provide a stipend to their employees for their benefits, and some don't. There's lots of other um, uh, options that you can do. And that's what, I, that's what I typically do is I sit down and talk to people about options. Because if you just think, just this one way and that's all that you really know unless you expand your horizon and say oh I didn't know that that was available and a lot of times people tell me oh I didn't know Aflac did that and so um, there's a, a quick video here I was going to show you if I get it to come up <clears throat> and this this is a, a, a gentleman that owns a restaurant Oh. 
if it's packaged as part of it. We offer Affleck insurance that helps them pay for costs that are not covered by major medical. It pays them directly in one day. I'll just start it again. When I was young, I had a passion for seafood. When I wanted to start a new business, sustainable seafood just made sense to me. Seymour's was born. The restaurant business is known for a revolving door. I wanted to do something different. I wanted the staff to know that I care about them as much as I care about the bottom line. And a robust benefits package is part of it. We offer Affleck insurance that helps them pay for costs that are not covered by major medical. It pays them directly in one day. That makes a huge difference in people's lives. So, so basically, Aflac provides you your company benefits, okay? Uh, benefits through uh, employee paid products that are portable. Our rates are very stable. You know, I had someone that had a policy, it's, you know, 20 years old and they're still paying the same as they paid when they got it started. Um, I, I recently priced a, a, an upgrade in a cancer policy from someone that had it that was 15 years old and a similar policy because that one is no longer in existence, but the new ones have a lot more bells and whistles. It was 11 cents more a week. So, you know, that's the thing that you get. You know, the other thing is our, our next day pay. But on our website, there's lots of information. There's a resources tab under the small businesses, people that are interested in, in getting some information about the health care reform and the Affordable Care Act. There's resources on here where you can learn stuff. There's uh, there, there are a lot of advantages to offering it. And so some of the advantages I've, are in this book, and one of them is strong benefits affect employees. So if you look on page 10 of the little booklet, you'll see that 82% of employees are most likely to be satisfied their, with their jobs versus 29% uh, because they have their, their, their benefits or, or more to their liking, okay? Um, on, on page, 14, it says a, su a surprising way for employers to reduce workers' compensation claims is by offering voluntary insurance benefits. And, uh, you know, AFLAC is the largest provider of these benefits. We have 50 million policyholders, over 460,000 businesses offer AFLAC to their employees. So there's lots of good information and uh, and then on page 16, it says wellness programs, something employers and employees can agree on. You know, wellness could be eating healthy, doing some, you know, exercise. You know, some people don't exercise at all. And, uh, oh, my exercise is walking up and down my stairs, you know, but, you know, that might be all that they do. But, you know, there's healthy eating and, and a lot of other things that people can do. So 61% of employees say that they've made healthier choices through their company's wellness programs and they also report higher job satisfaction levels. <laughs> so if people are satisfied with their jobs, the likelihood of them staying and, and keeping those jobs, which would reduce your turnover, reduce your training costs, that is where it helps employers. You know, so you're offering a benefit that costs you nothing, but yet with a pre-tax plan, those employees are getting items at a pre-tax basis versus an after-tax. So as an employer, you would save some money on, on your Social Security tax, right, Cindy? So, so those are, those are way, and, and, and a lot of times people say, well, you know, I, I can't afford it. And I was like, well, how much do you think it is? Mm -hmm. You know, how much, how much do you think an accident plan would cost you? $5 a week? You know, I hate to use the thing, it's about the same as a Happy Meal. Not that anyone's too happy about those. But, uh, but those are the kind of things that, that you know, I, I go out and I talk to people about because they think that, oh, it's got to be expensive. Right. You know, and they just say, well, no, we're not interested. And I was like, you're not interested? So, so if you have an accident where you break your leg and it costs you $7,300, well, you'll meet your deductible on your medical plan if you have one. And if you don't have one, then I guess you'd be financing it through your credit cards at a really low 18 or 25 percent interest rate. So, you know, those kind of things, it's, it's kind of crazy. I mean, you know, we have, a, we have a critical care and recovery plan, which covers you for heart attack and stroke and those kind of things. And uh, they say, you know, the average thing on that is, is, is uh, you know, $15,000. 
you know, it's just kind of crazy. I mean, you know, people don't think about it, you know, but it's like, well, what happens if you can't go to work? How do you pay your bills? You know, um, do you have a disability plan at your, in your, at your company? Because, you know, Affleck can offer a short-term disability. We can even offer long-term disability. You know, now one of our new things that we have is telemedicine. So is that 10? Okay, so telemedicine, and that's a great product because it's an employer paid thing. It's $2 a month, covers the employee and their family, and all the children up to age 26. So they can call and get medical treatment from a doctor with a small copay, which is a lot less than going to the doctor or going and sitting in the emergency room for five hours. You can pick that, you know, because it's like you get home, the kids are sick, it's like, oh, great. They got this again, because you know what they had, because they had it like a couple months ago, you know? And so, so you're calling your boss, oh, I'm, I'm gonna be late to, tomorrow, I have to take my child to the doctor. Oh, do you have an appointment? No, but they said they could see me in an hour or two, and you know how that goes, right? Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, does anyone have any questions? I have two. Um, first, does it have to go through employers, or can individuals purchase them? <laughs> you can buy them individually. You know, uh, it's it's not going to be at the group rate. The uh, the thing about going through employers is you can do the payroll deduction and get the pre-tax benefits if it's set up that way. Second, if you go through your employer and you stop working for that particular employer, does the coverage cease or does it carry on? All of our products are portable. So that means that if you leave your employer and go to another employer, you can take it with you. It just changes from being payroll deductive, deduction to a... Uh, to a regular monthly payment. Would the rates change nope. if that particular employer didn't participate? In fact, I had a girl that was working for another employer. Uh, I had a call from one of the uh, one of my clients, and they said, "Jim, we have uh, we have a couple new employees. If you can come in, uh, one of them wants to get something, and the other one, her husband's in the army, so he probably doesn't want anything." And I was like, "Okay, that's fine." So I went in and uh, took care of the first person. They wanted to get a dental plan because we have dental and vision, so she wanted a dental plan. And the other person, I, I walked up to her and I said, hi, I'm Jim, I'm your Aflac person. Um, what do you know about Aflac? She goes, I already have Aflac. And I go, oh, great. And I said, um, she goes, yeah, I had it from where I was working before. And we just took that and I said, well, would you like to transfer it into here so you can get it on a pre-tax basis? She goes, oh, that'd be great. So we just filled out the form and then we faxed it in. And, uh, and so beginning in February, her stuff is gonna be pre-tax again and I was like oh okay well and you know because the office manager didn't know because a lot of times as an employer we don't always know what's going on with our employees and so we just kind of do the best that we you know we think that we know everything that's going on but we really don't you know. any other questions yes Jim. I just wanted to say something for anybody that doesn't know how it works um, if I my neck out or something and I have to go to the chiropractor as long as I file a claim within what is it 72 hours as long as you see a doctor within, within 72 hours 72 hours I fill out this one page form get the doctor's sick or chiropractor signature I send it in Affleck deposits a check into my account for $120 that's just for seeing the doctor just for yeah yeah and then any follow-up visits they do uh, what is it or $20. Depends on the plan. I think typically it's thirty-five dollars on follow-up visits. Uh, if there's an injury that uh, that required extra treatment, then they would pay you for that based on that. Um, I filed my own. A lot of times now you can file them online, so it makes it really simple, uh, and you can attach your documents. And uh, yeah, we 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 have next day pay on a lot of things, and that's the difference between Aflac and a lot of other companies. Because you know, when you're injured and you need the money, you need it then. You, you don't really have time to wait for two weeks. Yes, Carol. So do you usually have to pay for the office visit and then get reimbursed by an employer? Yes. Okay. Yes, because we don't have any networks. Okay. You can go to anywhere you want to go. Um, and, and, you know, there's no co-pays or there's no deductibles. We just pay you based on whatever injuries and stuff that you have. All right. Thank you so much. Right. Thank you.